Hey, what's up, all oh, viewers of iPod King Carter? This is Stan Bros, and this is So You Think You Can Commentate. First off, I want to thank iPod King Carter for letting me try out for So You Think You Can Commentate because this series just helps so many small channels get bigger, get get their like get on track, and help out so much. So thank you, iPod King Carter, and all the other people that went on this before me. You know how good this is. It helps your channel out so much. But this is an NBA 2K12 gameplay. I'm playing my player. My guy's name is NJ Stanek. I'm, I'm playing shooting guard, three-point specialist. So we're facing Cleveland Cavaliers, but before I get into the gameplay, let me talk about my channel a bit. I post NBA... NBA 2K12 and MW3 videos pretty much every other day, something around those lines. I've been, I've been on YouTube for pretty much three months, three months pretty much commentating, and I've pretty much forfeit these subs right off right right now. So what do you guys to expect from me? I'm about to start a series called Inside the NBA, just showing you guys like the facts, like inside the numbers, like Kobe Bryant, first place in scoring. Why is this happening? Last like three, four years. He wasn't even like, he wasn't even close to first place, but now he's pretty much first place by a point, like pretty much every averaging a point more than the second place leader. I think that's Durant. Why is this happening? That's why I do my my series. I'm about to start. But let's get into this gameplay. I already have eight points. Take about three. I'm on fire right now. Ring it up. We're up by eight. Cle we're facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Before we got slaughtered by them by 20 points, pretty much. But now we're looking for revenge, man. Me and Moonson pretty much did some pick and rolls, but they're not working at all. He's not even getting the screen on the opponent. But Granger's doing some crossovers. Pump fake, that's easy too, but he somehow misses it. I don't know why they pump fake and then shoot at the last second. But gee, oh, you just got postered. Collison, standing, trying to take a charge or something. He just stood there, wow. But we're down by we're really down by seven. We were just up by I think three. The shot clock. The game. The first quarter is winding down. I should say. We're trying. We're doing a double pick and roll with me and Moonson. You're gonna see that a couple times probably. But I'm calling for the ball. I want the ball. But Granger just is like, no, I'll take this. He passes out to Collison. The last second. Oh, he makes the three. Wow. He really passed the ball. I think with one second left. Sessions makes that easy layup. I try to double him. But you can't always do that. Like, I don't know. I tried doubling because if a uh, big guy has the ball, I really like try to double him, try to steal the ball. That's a really good idea if you're a guard, because you, as you know, no one like any big guy has horrible ball security. We're gonna pick and roll, pop up another three, same spot, same result. Let's go. 16 points in midway in a second. Now it's 18, man. That's just amazing. Oh, we're playing. T we're playing touch passes here. Jackson does a spin move. Pass it out, Granger. All day. Wow. Granger does not shoot a lot anymore. The uh, prior games before this, he shot like five shots a game. Some odd reason. I don't know why. Oh, Verzal was wide open. We're doubling sessions. He has to take a post fadeaway pretty much, and he barely hits the rim. Wow. That that's good defense right there. I'm over for three. I'm calling it. Corner three, corner pocket. Oh wow, barely hit rim right there. I'm a three point specialist. That should not happen at all. Oh, Verja, that happens so much. If you guys don't know, if you guys doing pick and roll, the center will just move over so quickly and put his hand out there. Your center will just like move out of the way. He'll just like pretty much float across the paint and let well, you get a turnover. I don't know why that happens, but it does. And there's a nice assist to George Hill. Well, like I said before, I think this is my like 19th game. You guys want to see prior games of my my player? I have, I have pretty much probably 10 out of 19 games I uploaded. So you guys can check out my channel, probably in the description below. And take up another three. I miss it, but David West. Wow, I did not know he's that athletic. To, that's three guys, two two Cleveland Cavaliers, and I think that was five, that was Hansbro, I should say. That that is just some beast. Tip slime right there. I like this. I did not know David West could do that. But little fadeaway jumper. He does make it. The Cavs are staying in this game. We're pretty much tra trading baskets. If we make a stop, we can't score. If we let them score, we score. I don't know how we uh, start taking the lead, but Hands Bros in the paint. He's posting up. He's trying to post on an Anton Jameson. Look at that nice spin move. He finds David West. David West does not like shooting jumpers. I have no. I have no idea why, but there's a Euro move. I'm open. Give me that mid-range jumper. 
Oh, that's all day right there. You put, get some D, man. Guard me. But Carlson, like, I have a lot of problems with the Pacers. Like, no joke. They're like, they're, I think, third place in the East in real life. But in this game, they're like 14 and 20. I, I have no idea why. Oh. But before this, I was on a Milwaukee Bucks. I got drafted by them. I think we were 1 and 9. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty pathetic. But then I, I requested a trade. I did get traded Pacers. My only mistake was I did not check the record. I, I just assumed they were good because I did not expect them to be bad. Because they're, they're pretty much, I think, thir third or fourth place in the Eastern Conference. One of the best teams in the league. Probably like a top seven team. And they're just bad. Man, 2K cheesy me. But how did I get that rebound right there? Let's, someone box out, please. But the third quarter is winding down. Amundsen, me and Amundsen like pick, pick, doing pick and rolls, but it never works. He never drives. It's only pick and pop, but he can't shoot a jumper. I know Kawhi. I'm over in three. I'm taking it. Let's ring it up. Let's ring it up. That makes the lead by five. And the third quarter ends. Score 30 points. That, that's the first time I scored 30 points right now. Oh, wow. It's just so amazing. If you guys do play my player, I really re recommend being a three-point specialist, especially if you want to shoot just shoot the ball because it's you're, you don't have to waste so much skill points on three points because once you have like 70 or 80 three points uh pretty much skill points the attribute then it kind of costs a lot maybe like a thousand or more i'm not even sure right now but we're pretty much pulling away at this point he passes back to me for some odd reason but oh you guarded me good there but shooter's got to shoot past me the hot sauce right there making three splash all day but Gibson tries to drive. Whoa, he got, he got a layup, but Thompson misses. The Cavs are missing a lot of shots here. They're not that... Like, last time we played them, they could not miss. But we're looking for revenge here. But this gameplay is coming to close right now. We're, we know we won. It's by 12, but you never know about 2K cheesing you. So you can't really, like underestimate any team this part this point in the game but Jones misses an easy jumper Hill Foster and one wow we got tons of offensive rebounds right there but if you guys want to check out my channel oh here's another three let's make this uh wide open man oh sessions is cheesing oh you you missed and I get you block oh wow two fast break misses this is how you end the fast break with a Pretty much a one-handed stop slam. I don't know what to call that. But I am player of the game. Wow. I think I scored how many points? I think I scored at least 30 points. I know that for sure. Shooting that three all day. Teaching the Cavs why you got to guard me. Show, like Getting my name out in the NBA. Making other teams know in the stat, the stat sheet that I am a guy that you have to worry about. Here's a post-game press conference. Great game out there tonight. You set your career high in points. Was this just a one-time outburst, or do you see yourself scoring like this on a regular basis? Believe me, this is a conversation we're going to be having several more times in the future. I may have got my career high tonight, but that's just for tonight. I'm getting better every day, so don't be surprised if I top that mark next game. And the game after that, and the game after that, I feel like the sky's the limit for me, you know? I like the answer. <laughs> sky's the limit. Let's go. But come fly with us, that's a new billboard. But thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, IKC, for giving me this opportunity. And check out my channel for more. See ya.